Hello. Play some more Legend of Oasis. We want boobies. Classic video. How's my lag looking? I'm trying to compare. Lately, my capture card has been delayed. A little delayed, hold on. Let me <clears throat> try and fix it. If if this crashes OBS, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hopefully it won't crash. Isn't that better? I guess it's good. It looks fine to me. Okay. Um, oh yeah, so we can, uh, we got shade. And use him to take out these plant guys. Are these all gonna be warps? Looks like we're uh the fire shrine. Um uh, oh, whatever. There was like a there's a thorn guy in the dungeon. Like in a corner of a room that I was gonna inspect if I was still there, but I guess I will probably just leave it for now. Where two people played and some other person in the lobby sat in to commentate and both players heard him. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I can't say I'd be thrilled about that. I mean, what it is, like, it actually does have a, um, uh, commentary, I don't know if it's DLC, or, I mean, you know, just a feature that they're just gonna have, <coughs> but, um, it's like they're gonna have, a uh, known FGC, co like, commentators or figures, like, kind of commentating the match in real time as you play. But, like, I don't know if it's something you can toggle on or off, or it's always on. I'm, I'm not, I don't actually know. But, um, they've done it before in other games, like, it, um, in, um, Virtua Fighter 4. It, uh, if you watched replays, uh, it would have, like, a announcer. And he would like talk about the stuff that's happening in the match in Japanese, and that was pretty cool at the time. I I, and but it was like I don't know, it was just some announcer guy. I, it wasn't like anybody I knew, or you know, I wouldn't. I wasn't like some celebrity FGC person. So I mean, people are probably going to be into that sort of thing. I can't say I'm like super. I mean, it's like, whatever. It, it could be super cool, but I'm not gonna, like, go out and buy it because I had my favorite fighting game man doing, uh, doing commentary while I play or whatever. What that? Ghost arm. Oh, they got good sound effects. Balloon. Ow. Let's 
get away from the sound effects. We should go back to town real quick. Let's see if there's anything worth looking at. Oh yeah, I can pull the I can pull the um the handles with chains now, I think, with shade. Maybe I should do that. And there's one in the water shrine area. All that was left to do was to go to the Shrine of the Sky and meet Errol. Myra shouldn't have acted so rashly. What did she do? Are you spoiling it, buddy? I heard that Chucky... Who the fuck is Chucky? Has a message from Myra. It'll be a tough battle for you from now on. I really feel for you. Well, thanks, buddy. I was talking with Myra. Myra asked me to tell you this. Please do not hesitate to kill me should I become your enemy. I told her you will be there to protect her. Then she said thanks, smiling. I don't think she is as evil as everyone says. Wouldn't you agree, Leon? I would agree with that, yeah. People thought she was evil because she had black hair. So. Pretty stupid reason. Myra has left and my son never came back. I think she has betrayed him. The day I saw Myra and Dark Will talking, after that Myra disappeared. her, Leon. Please rescue my daughter. Who's your daughter? Myra? Daughter Myra? Thought she was an outsider or something. Um. There we go. I was wondering if I'd summon shade from those obelisks. And pull the chain here. What does that do? Opens a portal to hell. Oh, it's this. It just takes you back here. That's weird. Well, I guess I could uh, go check out that one uh, thorn I wanted to check out. Let me see if I can locate it. Summon. Oh no, it's gonna summon brass if I do it off the iron balls. In mind.
Back from here. Can I go up here? pick me up. I was trying to go down there. What could they actually change about Street Fighter and 6? Like fighting game sequels are just costume changes. Well, I mean, mechanically it does look pretty different from, from 5. Like there's some kind of parry thing like Street Fighter 3, but looks like it might cost meter. Or something it was different from how it worked in the uh, Street Fighter 3. Um, where's the stupid platform? There it is. Um, <coughs> Yeah, I mean the the shit. God damn it, you stupid asshole. Wasting my time. Like the visual changes for the characters are a pretty big part of it. You're, you're not wrong. But um I mean this one seems to have just different, you know, like core core uh, systems in place. And, you know, I mean, based on what very little we've seen of it, it, it uh, you know, seems like it's going to play a little differently. We, we don't really know what that means yet. There you go. Where am I going? Why am I writing this thing? Hold on. Should I go up here? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The free roaming thing. Yeah, that looks like it might be the um, uh, it's like story mode or something, some kind of beat 'em up thing, yakuza kind of thing. Uh, where do I go? Up here. Or was it down here? Let me go down here. Let's see what's down here. The Chode Bros, yeah. Big fan of the Chode Bros. Not sure why they thought uh, people would like Luke's design. I mean, maybe some people do, I don't know, but... Like, yeah, this guy's gonna be the... the face of Street Fighter VI. Sports made a Street Fighter game. Yeah, kind of. It do be looking like that, though. But I will say, compared to Street Fighter V, it looks pretty good, like, art direction-wise. You know. 
looks preferable to that mess. I got an idea. I'm about to use that bow and arrow. Take out these guys from afar. Yeah. We have to we have to have like we can We gotta bring back the weird second player side only boob jiggle glitch on Chun Li for maximum enjoyment. Jump. Let's fucking jerk off, dude. I had to bomb the shit out of him. I'm trying to refill my magic. Yeah, take that. Oh, the skeletons are here. Hear them coming a mile away. Okay, I think I'm coming up on... There it is. There's the thorn I was looking for. If I can summon the old shade. We gotta get up there. Take the long way round. It's a good list right there. If I had all the all those things, I would be in gaming heaven right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking ass. Bitch crackers. Damn it, I can't believe I missed that jump. Totally sync up. This is it right here. Boom. Easy. Get him shade. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? Flag? What? It's an Easter egg. You must be kidding. Oh shit. Mummies are coming out of the ground to to avenge flag. Oh Yuzo. He's so crazy.
These guys ever stop coming? Well, guess I'm out of here. this lead oh yeah forest forest of hell if I ran an arcade what would the decor theme be like? Um, let's see. The decor. Mm, probably, um... There was like an arcade in um, Tron Legacy that looked pretty cool. I think it was just going for like an 80s, you know, look. So I don't know if I could describe it. <laughs> but I remember it looked pretty cool, so. There you go. Hmm, where's the... Oh, we should go back up here. I want to go to the, um... The thorns that I couldn't kill before. <laughs> All machines would be six feet apart for COVID, and you're not listening to the annoying guy on Pac Man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, even on the same machine, if the cabinet's small, like, you'd be bumping elbows, you know what I mean? Like, that's always annoying. If it's like a. Just like a regular cabinet as opposed to like a showcase cabinet. And it's like, if it's like a stand-up cab, you know, that could be a, bu a bump on elbows situation. Wait, I think I'm supposed to go down here. I guess I would, um, I would prefer having the, uh, head-to-head -head cabs, like, f like the Japan style. I know, yeah. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to own these dudes in my Mortal Kombat cabinet when I can't even... can't even move my elbows in a wide range of motion. Pull off all my sick combos. Oh, let me get... Uh, where's sh where can I summon Shade? A crystal? I think there's a crystal in here. There's gotta be. Yeah. You can pull the chain. There's a chain up here, I think. The thorn. Yeah, this thing.
Oh, nice. That's handy. Back there. If you owned one cabinet, it would be UMK3, Soul Calibur 2, or Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Oh, yeah, those are good choices. My cabinet. Um, for a fighting game, probably like I'd probably have to go with uh, maybe Alpha Three. I think I gotta go with Alpha Three. Um. If it was a beat em up, maybe. Mm, like Alien vs. Predator? And. Um, what else? What other genres are there? Snark. <laughs> You're busted. Wait, how do we get up there? Yeah, maybe like Lucky and Wild. Centipede or Dig Dug for a classic game. Yeah, those are good. Lucky and Wild was always a fun, fun game to run across in an arcade. Um. What would I get for classic? Um, what's it called? Like Robotron or something? Um, that was kind of fun. Um, my favorite fight, my favorite games in the arcade when I was younger were like, uh, I, I loved Killer Instinct and I loved, uh, Virtua Fighter 1. It was so smooth. And Virtual Fighter 2, I guess, to a lesser extent, maybe. But even before I was, like, you know, playing, like, party game tournaments, so I, I like those games a lot. Oh, I need, so I need the Earth Energy to kill the rock thingies. Oh, I need to smash this too. Wait, what did that do? Oh, grapes. Eating. Freeze this. Scroll, huh? How do I get up to this big old thorn up here? Uh, 
Listen, Leon, I can feel a new power burning inside me. Through spirit power, I can create flame energy freely. The long sword and press the X button once. Oh, cool. To what end, though? Oh, should I put up the fire? Oh. Well, there you go. Also, now I need, need shade. Ow. Finish all enemies without falling in. Toki bin. What the hell is this? Finish all enemies without falling in. Into what? The water? Oh. The pit. Crazy box. Arcades filled with 5,000 of those little handheld arcade things the size of a Game Boy.
Yeah, I know. People people love Miss Pac-Man or whatever. Even if they never played it. Oh wait, this is uh Have I been here before? It's the same forest, I just never came up here I guess. And... <laughs> yeah, it is fun to cheat at Donkey Kong. It is tons of fun. Oh shit, I just locked myself out. Damn it. Well, gotta go back around. Actually, that's good that he picked me up. I didn't want to go down there. It's not, there's not too many classics, quote unquote, that I am super into. I feel like Pac-Man's whatever. Donkey Kong's all right. You know. It's not I'm like majorly into a lot of them. It's up here. Of guidance. The Claw of the Dark Spirit will open up the way to the Sky Shrine. Okay, so we just gotta use Shade to pull the chain. Let's, let me see if what, what the hell this is. How do I do this? Finish all enemies without falling in. Like bombs? I guess they will follow you up here. I wasn't trying to run. How do you do this? I don't know. again and we'll just go to the shrine. Actually, 
Let me get another set of grapes. what's under that fire. Is it an invisible chest? What the hell is that? I need some holy purification charges here. Missing something? Why isn't it? Uh, oh, I guess. It's not hitting it, I guess? Okay. There's the chain. So that's gonna unlock the half back, I think. So let me do that. So I need to get up. It's like a tiny little spring bud. Like right there. Elixir. I still haven't entered the shrine yet, or hasn't like told me that I'm in the shrine. I guess we're on our way to the Sky Shrine still. So. It's pretty quiet in here. Hmm. 
Getting out of juice. There we go. A little bit more juice. Mm, earth energy, huh? Oops, wrong one. Sword. Only a powerful sword will open the door to the wind shrine. Your sword has the necessary power. Oh my god. The place where Errol, the spirit of air, lies. Wind shrine. Hopefully we don't get as stuck here as we did on the um, last shrine. But I do have a walkthrough to refer to if I need to do so. Spirit of Darkness dwells in an obelisk. Okay. Fuck, I need, uh, what's his face? Brass for this. Or I guess I could just use shade, whatever. Blown. Guys, I'm getting blown. Puppet. Oh, it's I can bring that to life if I can electrify it. And light those torches. Is that gonna do anything for me? Off shade. Aquaria Village to the south. This is a one way path. Oh, is this. Does this lead back to town? Just like falling down here? Interesting. Whoa. Smorgasbord. I'll, I'll leave the other one. I assume it's more goodies. Might need those later. over here. Why did it give me the uh, puzzle solve jingle? Blue rock from the sky creates a sky gate on the ground. Okay. What the hell are these bags? 
I still have no idea. The Gito Thorn is damaged only by the dissolution attack of Shade. Okay. I mean, I had to figure that out to get here. Well, I guess I appreciate the reminder. this lead. Well. Back here. I guess we could just um, go back up. Uh... Uh, we unlock the shortcut, so we could just do that. Okay. Let's try that again. I don't think I went over here yet. This. Oh. The road to the spirit will be opened by pulling the three switches. Okay. Let's get Shade out. Well, one. Maybe this is one of them. Or maybe it's not. Who knows? Let's just lead. Where's that go? Let's just lead back. Yep, I know. I know about that. Damn it. I need, I need uh, Ifrit again. I 
get some holy purification energy though. That's pretty cool. I guess I could summon him off a bomb. How many keys do I know? Oh, there's one. Ugh. Shade again. Does he summon off of these, or is it going to be brass? Or it's nobody, I guess. Yo, this dramatic music, though. Get me pumped. Is that number two? Or number one? Or something? I don't know. You know what? Let's just get Ifrit off of a bomb. Or we can just do that, I guess. That works, too. See ya. <laughs> Just complete silence after that. Oh no, need a key. the platform once it gets over here. A good smacking sound when the when you hit the spikes. Um Okay, I need shade again.
So how do I how do I reach this thorn? Can I, can shade reach all the way over? Yes, he can. Okay. Oh shit. Should be on the key, I bet. Go open the door down there. Oh, there's a guy there. Didn't even see him. Longbow level two. Cool. Does it look any different or? About the same. Okay. Unlock this door. Was that the third switch to do whatever the thing was talking about? Oh. Let's see, can I summon... Freet. Oops. To get him off of that uh, torch, maybe. Uh, whatever. I'll just use a bomb. <laughs> Oh no. Where's it gonna put me? Oh gosh. Heckin' gosh. I can't believe I just did that. Should I guess I should uh, ride the platform for a little bit longer to see where it takes me. Seemed like I got I could have walked onto the other one, but uh Thought they were gonna stop. That's okay. She'll just take a minute to get back there. Okay, thanks more. Get it off, get it off my head.
see where it takes us. Oh, okay. So the other one's like the one that takes you back. I gotcha. Uh, green one or champ maker? Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Might yeah. as well catch your fall. Oh yeah, should probably get that. Get that going. Happy? The hell kind of name is that? Must leave. So I need earth energy to break the rock. There it is. Let me just ignore these guys, I guess. fall down. Just where the chest went. Oh, it's onyx, okay. The blue rock was here. Where does that take me? Oh, just back up here. Oh, I guess that's cool. Jesus Christ. Oh, um... Can I... I hit that switch with old, old shade. No. Huh. Weird. Summon bra brass if I wanted to. I don't know why though. Fill. I 
can. that switch yet. Is that something I can do perhaps? Let me look around some more. I feel like there's some stuff I haven't explored here. What's down here? Down this staircase? Like nothing. Ah, I see. It's all so clear to me now. Oh, well, let's go back up. Let's take the portal, I guess. be by the big old statue. I'm missing here, I wonder. Like, where does this lead? Probably just down to the same. Like, the. This is like the statue, probably. I could go down here? Is there something down here? I need more earth energy. I think that's a scroll or something. Back up to the, uh, the first part of the area. Uh, there's a torch. There's a switch. The rock. Stone arrow.
Get the scroll of darkness. As well, energy to dissolve strong enemies. I don't think I have one of those. Although perhaps the thing I dropped was a scroll of darkness. One of the chests. I guess I should check. to create a portal, I think. Uh, where was that? I think it was down a little bit. Let me make sure I get this right. Down here? Is this the. There's the portal. Where's the chest? Is that it? that chest I dropped was back here. Maybe this was it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh man. I already have those. Just hoping for a scroll of darkness. Damn, it is getting crazy up in here with all these enemies. Reminds me of uh, La Mulana 2 in a certain way that I can't reveal. Cannot believe this. Let me go back. Uh, is there a shade summon around here? Um. Yeah, whatever. We'll just go back up. There's one over here. Let me go back down. Central Island. I wonder if I can jump over there. Did not want to run. Right there. Shade was right there. It was going to protect me from falling. Mm-hmm. 
Where do I get one of these scrolls of darkness? I wonder. It's gotta be one nearby. I would hope. I can hit that. It's like on the same. It's not on the same plane as me. That uh, thorn. Oh, there we go. It's pretty pretty good at taking these guys out. There we go. Three special attacks per scroll, blah blah blah. Oh, I should have summoned off of the box there to get rid of the thing, so... Too late now. Oops. I need the bow. So what does this do? some health here. Oh, uh, maybe I need to light all the torches. Are there torches on the screen? There's some on the last screen, I think.
I feel like just doing a regular walking jump wouldn't really get you over there. Like a running jump is the way to go. I feel like you don't need to do it off of that first one. You can just do it from back here, I think. Oh, what's the point of this? I don't understand. Doesn't seem like you can get into that room. Unless... Trying to get Efreed over to light that torch. What's the point of the arrows? Like, I can turn them on and off. Right? But for what reason? Uh, oh, can I use the bow to get the... to take care of the thorn? I guess that's what I probably should be doing. Oh, there we go. Do that thing, I guess. key. So now what? Oh my god. Giant stack of rats. to get in there I guess guess that's what we gotta do
it is hard to tell where stuff is, like, vertically. <laughs> <laughs> that room is a nightmare. that do? I knew I had to do it. What does it do? Is there anything over here? I should know about? Six two three four one five. Is that as simple as it looks, I wonder? Where is this lead? Invisible chest. Bawu. Hole. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess that's cool. There's a small iron box in the waterfall. That's weird. strange. Um... Am I supposed to... I think I have to orient them before I do the puzzle. So he needs to go that way. Go that way. Let's 
soon as I run out of shade, it would have been very helpful. Looks like it might be the boss. What's up with that tiny metal box? <laughs> So weird. Oh, no, I don't know if that's the boss yet. There might be more dungeon. Door is sealed by stone. Oh, you don't say. Purification. Stop stabbing me. Uh, what's that gonna do for me? I wonder. There's a door. jump across there maybe what's up here oh, I guess that's cool elixir mm, can I walk on that no it's a platform that might be something. That's cool. All the hits were very cool there. What am I supposed to do? Oh. I guess that. What does that do? I didn't even see what's up uh, here. An agent! See what's up here. Uh, oh, there's a goodie. What's that? No. Oh. Actually, kind of bad, but whatever. Use my cool elixir. Let's go back through the door, I guess. Dungeon's pretty long. I keep thinking it's almost over. Uh, what's her face? Ditto.
So we can get some earth energy from here. Break these rock poles. To what end? I'm not sure. Oh wait, no, it's 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 gonna like do something if I break all of them, probably. I'm sure that's what's gonna happen. I can't hear myself over the bombastic soundtrack. Oh yeah, I remember that place. Yeah, Eagle Tower. Uh, huh. Yeah, it's crumbling. Um, let me go back in here. Give me some healing. Thank you. Is this the last one over here? It's gotta be the boss. There's a save point and everything. Actually, let me uh, heal up first. There we go. Yeah, this game has some very <sighs> sounds are just um I don't know, they're so unique. <laughs> I'm not sure if Yuzo was in charge of like the sound design or or what. Oh, it's Myra. She's evil now. <laughs> How do you do? Period. I am Myra, she who mends the soul of Agito. The Torn Spirit King, though I have been looking forward to seeing you again. I dislike the company of such a depressed person. Come out, Warhead! Oh, it's, um, I remember this guy from Beyond Oasis. Yeah, freeze that rock. Oh, actually, it's different. It looks different than he did. Me, uh, get a better weapon out here. Yeah, I don't know about the logistics of this kind of creature. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm not doing any damage. I probably need earth energy to hurt him. What is this? Oh, there we go. Now we're doing damage. Get his ass, ditto. Fuck him up.
yeah, um, she's not reoccurring. Um, she's like, she was a character that appeared in our village, who everyone thought was evil because she had black hair. And um, but she was like, uh, she was like unconscious, and then she woke up. She gave us a cube, which I guess we needed, and then uh, she said she was created by like Dark Will, who I think is like the bad guy. And then she got kidnapped, and now she's evil for some reason. I think she was created by Dark Will, and that's why she's evil. Believe it or not, that was the true form of Myra. Oh well, if you want your Myra back, bring the three cubes that she took and deliver them to me. My Silver Guardian needs practice chopping heads, and you're up next. And Myra wanted to meet you so desperately. Damn. It's laughing at me. This is the last of the spirits, I think. It's Errol. Spirit of wind. Wind and lightning are with me. And master of spirits, you're sure to win the battle with our support. We, the six spirits, swear to support our master Leon with all our strength. Errol, the wind spirit, has joined. Holy smokes. That's awesome. How much better is Beyond Oasis than this? Uh, it's hard to even say yet. Um, I don't know. It, uh, I wouldn't say like that much better so far. Like the dungeons are pretty all right in this. Um, I, I feel like Beyond Oasis was more like focused, I guess. Which, you know, probably is a, is a strength in its favor. Electrical or gaseous substances. Oh, like water vapor. Uh, lighting. Uh, power surge. Fluffy ride. Oh, I bet that's how I can um, get to that center island in the forests. Yeah, it's hard to make a judgment call on this yet. Yeah, the art's a little... I don't know. They are going for... some kind of different look. More... I don't know, more realistic than Beyond Oasis. Not bad, but... So I bet I can ride Errol across here. How do we do that? Oh, there we go. Cruising. How do I get up there? Do I have to do it from up high? <laughs> Let's see, maybe we can get up there from up here? Oh, you can send them to hell. I didn't even realize that. I didn't realize they were undead. Um, okay. There we go. Nice. We got Bao an extra level. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, you like slowly fall down, I see. You can't just like fly everywhere. Interesting. Uh, well. 
yeah, I will say this the sound design is is very like it stands out for sure. There's so many like weird little things that have the skeletons are always like cracking their joints when they're moving around. And uh the sounds that Bawu makes are really funny. It's good stuff. But yeah, I guess we I guess we could stop there. I got uh, the last of the spirits and and uh we'll uh, I don't know, maybe we'll beat it next time. I'm not sure.